You want to be something more, something great. All right, boys, just got up. I had a uh, bagel and a coffee real quick before heading out. I just put like Greek yogurt over the bagel, vanilla Greek yogurt instead of like cream cheese spread because you know, cream cheese has a lot of calories. Um, it's only 50 per tablespoon or whatever, but I'd rather use Greek yogurt instead and like keep the calories as minimal as possible and still getting like more protein out of the Greek yogurt than I do from cream cheese. Had that with the coffee with almond milk. Anyways, let's get into it. I'll see you guys inside the gym. Okay, so today's gonna be a heavy push day. So I was planning on doing bench, but all the benches are taking right now. So I'm going to wait, I'm going to just warm up on the chest press machine. Just do a couple of sets so I can like get the mind muscle connection going with the chest. And then after that, just camp out. I didn't wait until one of the benches become available. And then just go heavy on that bad boy. I've been trying to get my bench up. Even though I'm cutting, I've been trying to bench as heavy as possible, go as heavy as possible. And then um, we'll see how it goes. Just remember, in life, one of the greatest feelings is doing something that people told you you could never do. We only live once. We've got one shot at this life and that's it. If you can drive yourself further once the effort gets painful, you will win. This is the purpose of life. To struggle and emerge. Okay, so I just bought those wrist wraps and I somehow ended up losing them. So um, right now I'm about to hit 185. Pray for my wrists. Uh, let's push some heavy ass weight. The Sikhan isn't something you are, it's something you become. To want to be something more, something great. It's something just that's yearning, that deep within your heart, quiet spirit, passion. So again, another great workout. Completely crushed it towards the end with like all the accessory movements. The bench press, I still need to put in some more work. I noticed that my number is like, my number for the third set dropped like to only like four reps because I was rushing the sets a little bit. I wasn't taking enough rest time in between. And then for my final set, I was actually able to hit five reps instead of six or eight. But yeah, it dropped so much just because I was rushing the sets, the number of reps were just like, just freaking plummeted just because I wasn't resting enough. I went from eight to four reps on the third set until I rested a little bit and then got five, which is like, eh, it's still high. I'm just trying to keep the weight at 185 so that I don't get any weaker or lose any sort of resistance or nothing. 
and I'm still trying to like just push and challenge myself and get as strong as possible and be able to like start moving around 185 like baby weight and uh after I feel more comfortable with it you know of course put up the weight I think my main problem though is like since it's bench press it's like a little scary because you know you could get stuck under the weight if, it, if you don't successfully push it back up so I'm like scared of pushing myself because sometimes I feel like if I do one more rep it might be like a, a grinder but you know I think I'd be able to hit it but you know since I don't want to get stuck under the bar and I, I like you know I don't have a spotter with me I don't push for that last rep that I may or may not be able to hit but I still you know feel fairly close to failure like the speed of the rep slowed down I could definitely feel the struggle but yeah man again I had like a binge I'm gonna bring this up again uh, I had a binge yesterday like I went crazy got a bunch of like pastries and stuff at the gas station and like candies and stuff I just wasn't like it's like all my discipline was just completely gone yesterday and I just ate whatever I didn't track my calories or nothing I was like screw it and it was weird because halfway through it there was like a fight and I started like it was a fight within me and I started walking hella miles bro like I did at least six seven miles yesterday of course I probably ate like probably 4,000 calories or something yesterday but I walked a lot because I was like you know what because early in the day I was like okay this is still recoverable I can still recover this if I just walk a bunch of miles and then fast for like a majority of the day I might be fine but I ended up not fasting for the rest of the day and you know of course I got hungry and ate and then like I went crazy I ate some of my mom's food which is like you know decently good food it was like whole grain rice and uh meat and carrots and potatoes and stuff but you know I ate like candy and all this other stuff wasn't tracking my calories went over my 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 calories for the day but you know it's not the end of the world once you fail once I just woke up today and said, all right, I'm going to just hop back to it, start tracking all my calories again. Uh, I weighed myself to see, like, if I retain crazy water weight or something. Not really. It was just, like, one more pound, which is not the end of the world. And I'm pretty sure it's not, like, a pure pound of fat. It's, like, water weight. I woke up at 211. But it's not the end of the world. If you just, if you, if you mess up, just hop back on the train. Don't quit. Just keep on going. You're not going to. You're not gonna never achieve a better physique if you don't stop. Cause I've been cracking my head at this for, I don't know how long, like two, three years now, or even longer technically, because even before I was actually taking the step or the actions to lose weight, I was just watching a bunch of YouTube videos and stuff. This is way back when I was still like a freshman or even a middle schooler, I would watch a bunch of YouTube videos and I knew all the information you needed to know to build muscle and lose weight. But I just wouldn't take the action until like junior year after the lockdown. And I was like inside of my house and looked at myself in the mirror and said, damn, you've gotten really fat. You look ugly. Like get to work, bro. Like I was absolutely disgusted. And that's what pushed me to start exercising and stuff again. And I just been at it, just not quitting. Like there would be so many days where I would mess up. I would eat something I wasn't supposed to or I would like just stop tracking my calories or I wouldn't exercise or I wouldn't go on the run or I wouldn't do miles or nothing but I never stopped and that's what got me to the point where I am at today which is like I have a much more better physique than what I did when I was like what 16 I think I was when I started I was like 16 or 17 years old I'm 19 now and I have a completely different physique I'm like not recognizable to some people who used to know me they'll look at me and they'll like question like you look familiar but I don't know from where and I'm like yeah I was that fat kid and they'll be shook you know because it's such a drastic difference and you don't notice it because you know you're you you see yourself every day but over the span of time others will notice and you'll notice the progress as well so just don't quit just keep on going just get up every day even if you mess up wake up the next day and try again and keep on doing it and keep on doing it because the only true failure is when you give up and you stop. The only true failure is when you give up, you stop, and you just quit on your dreams. So 
so just don't give up keep on going and there's a higher chance of you achieving what you want to achieve if you don't quit than there is if you just quit that's obvious it sounds so obvious so so stupid but that's the truth but anyways thank you guys for tuning into the workout i'm gonna go friggin try to fix my car now and uh i'll see you guys in the next video cyclops supplements code ted for 10 percent off on pre-workout supplements as well as these awesome pump covers bro this pump cover is immaculate i got a little bracelet with my supplements he he actually hooked me up with some pump pills today as well um well not today but when i got this shirt i just got like free pump pills and it was just like a nice little surprise i was like let's go in my next video i'm gonna be trying out a different flavor of the pre-workout i've done the cyclops sunrise as well as the pomegranate the only one I'm missing now is the blue snow cone, I think. So, get ready for that next video. I'm going to give you all like a nice, intense little review of that. But, code TEDS, save 10% off. Go check out my Insta, TikTok, link in the description below. And as always, put in the work, put in the time, stay on your grind. I'll see you guys in the next video.